What is going on guys, Tactical Bacon here, and thank you very much for checking out today's video, which is going to be Daisy Vanilla Mod, Season 3, Episode 9. So if you guys remember, in Episode 8, I tried to go to a mission and do it, but unfortunately I did not have the right guns, either that or I just wasn't very good at using them. That combined with the fact that I did not really have enough ammunition for the guns that I was using. Unfortunately, that led to my death a couple times and I was not able to complete the mission. I just basically had to get my gear and get the hell out of there before restart happened. After uploading that video, I decided to make it my main objective. My main goal in this video today is to complete a mission, hopefully get some better gear, maybe even a better gun. Who knows, maybe a better backpack, some food, water, medical supplies, who knows. But Right now, I am traveling in the wood line, or the tree line rather, just west of Berezino, pushing my way north to do a weapons crate mission. Like I said, who knows, maybe we can get some better guns up there. But that's all the setup you guys are going to need for today's video. Remember, if you like it, to leave it a thumbs up and comment down below. Also, go join our Facebook group at YT Tactical Bacon. Go follow me on Twitter at YT Tactical Bacon. And also, go join our Steam group, group slash Full Metal Misfits. And without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump into today's video. Okay, well, there's definitely shots going on over here, so... I don't know if someone's engaging this mission or not though because the mission that I did earlier um they were shooting and I still didn't come across any players Ooh, there's a vehicle over here definitely check this out before I come over here to this mission looks to be in kind of shitty shape The gear looking like nothing I can really use. I can't get into that house. Fuck. Need more ammo. I see what would really be nice would be a scoped rifle. Because then I wouldn't run into the issues that I was having killing that other guy. I mean, nine times out of ten, you put a scope on whatever gun I'm using, and... Well, most of the time, I'm going to be a better shot. <laughs> but, um... But, yeah, having, having nothing but iron sights, especially on, like, a gun that I have never really used before, like the uh, Lee Enfield. It just doesn't really work out all that well for me in the end. But, I mean, I gotta get better at using them. Fuck, how close is this mission to the woods? It's like really, really close. Actually, you know what? I might... How many... I know that I really do not have enough rounds in this gun to do this entire mission. But at the same time, I also know that I don't have enough in this gun either. And I did... Shit! Fuck. Those are landing really close. I think they are gonna flank me. Or I think they are the kind of AI that'll flank. Because he was way out of their... Well, not like way out of their zone, but he was moving out of it. And he was pushing the tree line, so... This is, these are definitely the AI that flank you, so I'm gonna have to kind of play this safe and move around a little bit more. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to get to that AI's gear because the other AI are shooting at me now. Or were shooting at me. I haven't heard a shot land near me. 
minute or so. <clears throat> Try to eat some food real quick. <clears throat> Definitely need something to drink. I've got a total of what, two rounds left? Yep. Two rounds left in my Leon field. So hopefully... I don't know, man. Like, there's definitely more than two AI left. So... Finishing this mission off with just two rounds... Is not gonna cut it. More ammo would be nice, but I don't know if that's gonna happen or not. He's over there somewhere. That's him right there. I see him. Wait, that was a player? I don't know if that was a player or not. He went down. Wait. No, that's not a fucking player. But that guy went down and then that... Uh... Fieldsville guy died. I don't know, that may have just been a really big coincidence. Yeah, I think it was. Come on. Okay, yes. He's got ammo. He's got some basic meds, open survival, it, okay. Alright, good. Should be able to get the rest of these fuckers now. Two hundred. These iron sights aren't that bad. Not sure how many more I've got left. I'm pretty sure I've killed like three or four at least. I think it was the last one. Oh yeah, check backpack? Fucking A right, take that shit. And he had a DMR. Let's see if I can get more DMR mags. Oh, this sucks. Fucking... People are gonna be here soon now. They're not already on the way. Definitely take that M9 SD. Uh... Take that G nade. What's in this other crate? Okay. <clears throat> so there's really not too many DMR mags, but that's okay. Because I've got three. And that's really all I wanted was a really good gun which I have two of now. I have the DMR and the the uh, M4. And I mean, three mags for the DMR, I mean, typically I wouldn't consider that really enough. I mean, it is plenty, but I would, I prefer to kind of carry around like five at least. Um, because sometimes I, <laughs> I end up missing a good majority of my shots, so... 
Uh, it actually pretty much comes in handy, but I'm actually uh, pretty happy with the way that turned out. Like, yeah, I didn't check all of the AI, and one of them could have had more DMR mags or something like that, but like I said, with with just me rolling solo right now, it's kind of tough to kind of gauge, like, how long I should stay at a mission, because it, it's a little bit easier when you got somebody watching over you and watching your back, but, um... I gotta say, that turned out pretty well. I mean, I've got a much higher uh, caliber rifle now. Uh, not only in the M4, but also in the DMR. So, I would say besides the fact that I'm at two-thirds blood, uh, I'm getting very thirsty and hungry. Uh, that, was, that was actually pretty good. I'm actually quite surprised with how things have kind of turned around for me now on the server. I mean, not that I was doing, like, awful or anything, but I was running into a bit of a bad luck streak, I must say. And I'm, I'm not saying that I'm completely out of the bad luck streak yet, but... A little glimmer of hope. Just get up this fucking hill. Sometimes there's like helicopters and shit up here on cleanse, so I'm gonna come up here and check it out and see if there is anything over here. Which hopefully there is. Because I would really like to uh, get around the map a little bit easier. Nothing. Wow, there's absolutely nothing over here at Clen. Usually there's a little something. Huh. That's weird. Well, there's a uh, convenience store right down there. So I'm gonna go down there and check that out and hopefully get some food and drinks. Zombies everywhere I go. No way to avoid them. I mean, there is, which I mean, it's pretty much just stay out of every city and town you come across, but you don't really survive too well doing things like that. Okay. There's some ammo that I'm sure would have come in handy a while ago. Wood. Do I even have matches? I can't remember. Yeah, I do. Okay. Got basically everything I need to make a fire and cook whatever kind of uh, meat I can cut off of carcasses. Nothing to drink in here, though, which is disappointing, to say the very least. <laughs> I think what I'm gonna do though is, uh. I know that there's a fountain around here somewhere. It's just actually finding the fountain. And then once you do find the fountain, you got about 20 or 30 zombies that you're gonna have to shoot and kill afterwards. Makes it kinda not even worth it. But I think what I'm going to do is, opposed to pushing my luck, which I might actually be doing right now, um, but I think instead of trying to push my luck and go on through this town to look for a fountain, I think what I'm going to do is, I'm pretty sure, oh actually, let me try to lose some of these zombies in this orange house over here, but I'm pretty sure you can drink from ponds. And if you can drink from ponds, then I should be good. I just need to figure out where a pond is, which shouldn't be that difficult because all I should have to do is look at a map. But like I said, hopefully I'll be able to lose these zombies in here. I'm pretty sure I will. And no. Oh. Well, that's very disappointing. I saw a can on the table, and at first I was like, ooh, sweet, finally I found some, uh, something to drink here. That 
was not the case. Because this game is a bastard. Fuck off, zombie. But yeah, like I said, I'm not gonna worry about pushing my luck right now. I'm just gonna run into the woods and hope that I can lose some of the zombie aggro and eventually find a pond. Now I really wish I could have came across a well over here in this town because it would just be very easy to take out one zombie and then replenish my liquids. But that's not always the way shit turns out. So you're probably wondering to yourself, hey Tack, why the fuck did you come all the way up here to the dam just to get water when you could have gone to, I don't know, Black Lake or whatever that other one was called, Willow Lake or whatever the fuck? Um, basically because I know this area is very secluded and I am kind of familiar with this area, so yeah. But it looks like my thirst meter is about to actually start taking away some of my blood, so that's kind of an issue, but luckily we're not that far away from the actual water itself. Like I said, I should be able to just go up to it and drink it, but we're about to find out right now. And I should probably cook some meat while I'm over here too. Drink. Oh, thank god. Just keep drinking that shit. Keep drinking that damn water. Keep going, keep going, keep going. I'll come over here and cook some food. But yeah, I would have to say that this has definitely been um, a very worthwhile venture. Things are kind of starting to get dark. There's a zombie over there too. But I would definitely have to say that this has been a very worthwhile venture. Um, aw, oh, fuck. All the food that I had was in that backpack, or all the meat that I had to cook was in that backpack that I fucking took off the, uh, or swapped with the AI. So that fire is completely useless to me. I didn't use all my matches, did it? Five matches left, okay. Well, that kind of sucks. I wanted to cook some meat and fucking sit up here and kind of camp out for a little while. But I think what my next objective is going to be, since I'm all the way up here in the north, um, probably not going to go to that bandit medical camp mission, even though I could do with some meds. Uh, I think what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to go back over to Northwest Airfield. Check around there for meds, ammo, food, and water. Um, and then what I'm going to do after that is probably start pushing back down towards the south. There's a pig over there. I'll probably kill the pig and take his food. Or his meat. Some bacon. Now I'll probably come across another animal here shortly. But yeah, like I was saying, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to push over to Northwest, see if I can get some medical supplies and some food, maybe even some more ammo. I really doubt I'm going to come across too many DMR mags, if any at all. And then start pushing my way down towards the south from there. Uh, I'll probably end up passing through like Vibor and Selenogorsk and all that kind of shit along the way. But I really want to get in some more PvP, especially since the last episode is going to be coming up very, very soon, in about a week or so. So I'm going to go ahead and head over to Northwest Airfield, and we will be back with more DayZ Vanilla Mod in the very near future. Because like I said, I've got all these good guns now, and I kind of want to put them to work. <laughs> 